A, answer the question. You need to read the question carefully and answer what's there. Yes, it might not be the question you wanted to come up, but it's the one you need to address. You need to look carefully at the components, work out how you're going to answer them. I would recommend taking the 15 minutes time at the start. It's no longer badged as reading time. My recommendation is to use it as reading time. Take that time to read the paper thoroughly, choose which questions you want to answer or you have choice and start to actively read the questions. What does that mean? It means picking out key pieces of information, perhaps drawing a diagram out on a spare piece of paper, making some notes about key phrases and starting to structure your answer. You shouldn't start writing before you have an outline structure of what you want to say. D, don't panic. Don't panic. I know it's easier said than done. There will be elements of the paper that you're not familiar with or not as comfortable with. Try not to worry too much about them. Focus instead on what you do know. Look at what the question is asking you and work out what you are able to address. Remember that the threshold for passing is 50%. There will be elements in the questions that are more about achieving the top end of the marks. You shouldn't let those derail you. There will be core marks available in each question and those are the ones you need to focus on. I believe a big benefit from online exams is being in a room on your own. That will help you if you start to panic. We've all been in that scenario where you're sitting in an exam room, you're not sure what to do, you look around at the other people and they all seem to be writing or typing furiously while you're sitting thinking, I don't know the answer to this question. That doesn't need to happen to you when you're on your own. There's no pressure from anyone else. If you feel yourself start to panic, take a deep breath, try to relax, maybe stand up and stretch a little bit, then think, I can do this. I've worked hard. I've got this. And carry on with your paper. I, identify the issues. You need to look at what the question is asking you to do. In terms of the scenario questions, you need to pick out relevant information from that question. And that can be challenging. It's often hidden in paragraphs, exactly what I advise you not to do when you're answering it. So you need to take your time to actively read the question, draw out the relevant information. If you're given a fact in a scenario question, think, why am I being told this? How does it link in to my answer? Before you start answering the question, make sure you're very clear understanding of what the requirements are asking you to do. For instance, are you being asked to write an email to a client or are you being asked to write a briefing note to a tax partner? Because you will answer those questions in two different ways. You wouldn't start quoting legislative references to a client who doesn't have a tax or necessarily financial background, but you would to a partner in your firm who's asked you to investigate a certain issue so think about how you're going to answer the question. When you're answering the question, do so in short paragraphs. You want to make life easier for the examiner. You don't want him or her to have to go looking in a very long paragraph to find the points that you're making. You want to lay them out with plenty of space, perhaps using bullet points to Get as much information down as you can and also to make it easy to pick out the points you're making and give you marks for those. With a typed exam, you've no excuse whatsoever. Gone are the days of having to write an arrow from one part of the page down to another one to explain, actually, I want to insert this paragraph up here. You have the ability to go back and put points into your answer. You have plenty of ability to hit the return button and make space on the page in order to lay your answer out in the way that will be most beneficial to you. When you're looking at the requirements, what are you being asked? What, how, explain. Think about those words and what that means for your answer. Look also at the components of the requirements. Are you being asked to address three or four different points in the requirements? If so, then you need to address all three or four in order to maximize your marks. There is a marking scheme which the examiner has to follow 
Even if you give the best answer in the world to the first part of the requirements, you won't do well in the question because you'll have needed to address all of the requirements in order to get the marks. So again, it comes back to looking at the requirements and planning out how you're going to answer the question before you start writing. T, timing. T for timing. This is the big one. You need to really take care on your timing. You've got three hours and 15 minutes for the exam. The first 15 minutes used to be designated purely as reading time. That's no longer the case, but I strongly recommend that you use the 15 minutes at the start to read the paper. Choose your questions and then actively read the questions, deciding as well the order that you want to do the questions in. That then leaves you three hours of writing time. That's 1.8 minutes per mark. You must be scrupulous with your time. Have a watch or timer in the exam room with you. Think carefully about how long you have for each question. If it's a 25 mark question, then you have 45 minutes to complete that question. After 45 minutes, move on. The first set of marks in a question are always the easiest to get. So you need to make sure that you answer all of the questions. Even in terms of say 45 minutes for a 25 mark question, you need to then break that down. For instance, if there are three different components within that, and it gives you the marks for each of those, then you need to make sure that you spend only that amount of time on it. So if component one is worth two marks, then you've got a maximum of 3.6 minutes to answer that part of the question. Make two or three points and move on 